So here we are once again. Today, we're going to carve a birdhouse. But you ask me, Jordy, where's the front of this birdhouse? Well, the front of the birdhouse is right here. Okay, it's a fence board birdhouse. You carve it out of a fence board. This is just a one by six. They say one by six, but it's actually three quarters by six. Um, before I start carving, getting into it, I want to say that um, I'm not a builder. My friend Peter Blair made this birdhouse for me a couple years ago. Um, and I just haven't got around to carving it, but there's lots of formulas if you Google how to how to build the birdhouse. Okay, so this let's leave it at that. So today we're going to carve the face of the birdhouse. It's going to be a wood spirit. We're going to carve the roof of the birdhouse and maybe possibly the sides of the birdhouse. But this roof hangs so far down, I don't think we're going to carve this hard. So we're just going to carve the roof and the face. So let's start off with the uh, face. Okay, so I got the camera in the overhead. I do want to say one thing first. It's easier to carve the roof and this piece with when it's not attached. Then once you get it attached by a braid nail or a glue, however you do it, then you can connect the dots on the roof, right? So, um, and I usually have the hole drilled for the bird to get in, but it's not done. So we're just going to carve that. And if if you're really if you're a huge bird fan and stuff like that, you might want to Google your your local birds your native birds to your area then you can get the hole the right size but so this one's just going to be basically you know the birds might not live in this one some on one of my other bird videos um bird host videos somebody said oh the birds aren't going to move into a house that looks like a monster face whatever buddy i've seen them move in so let's do our uh hole will be right here so this is also a, a video for the beginning wood carver, right? For the beginning Dremel carver. So what I, so since we got the hole on there already, now I'm just going to pull this away from here and I can draw it on better. So we always, any wood carver, will say, always start off with your center line, okay? So here's our center line. Well, it's not that center. This hole's off a bit. Who cares? So this is a very basic wood spirit, okay? I'm not going to carve it depth. Another thing you could do too for the nose, if you want to get your nose to stick farther off, you can pre-glue a piece on there for the nose. So let's let's say, um, or no, okay, this will be our eyes, right, for the bird hose, and his nose will be right here. That will be his nose. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my little jigsaw. And I'm going to cut a little block of the cedar, and I'm going to epoxy it on here, right? So it needs to be this big. Then I can carve nose, and that's a good way to get your nose to stick off farther too. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to epoxy it on, and you'll see, and I'll show you. Just use cheap five-minute epoxy, and I'll be back. Yep. It just carved rubber. You ever seen a measuring tool like this? So that's the how wide we need it, and this is uh, how long we need it. <laughs> Anyways, carry on. Okay, you can see here I got the nose glued on, just five minute epoxy, dollar store stuff. Um, I'm going to let this dry a bit longer, so we're going to move forward and carve the roof. And another thing too that I did that Ben Studio on the Lake's probably going to email me and um, yell at me for this birdhouse, how to make a birdhouse, how to carve a birdhouse, is that I used red pen. He said, don't use red pen when you do your outlines, use black pen. Sorry, Ben. So the roof. Okay, let me get this uh, camera set up better. Okay, so we're going to make this roof look like it has shingles, right? So we're just going to go like this. The more lines you do across, the more carving you got to do. So there's that. Then I'm not going to draw the other side on. I'll just, well, okay, I'll draw it on. They're kind of wavy, like an old kind of gnome home thing. But what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm this square edge right here, I'm going to remove the wood, this wood right here, all the way down so it's not square. So I'm going to around this edge off so because then your shingles can wrap around the front right so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna start off um, let's see here I'm gonna start off using this three-sided uh, Chinese cutting bit um, they're super good when you get them brand new but they don't stay sharp for too long if you want to sharpen them yourself you could use sandpaper whatever you use your Dremel itself to sharpen these but I just once they get dull I chuck them so all I'm gonna be doing on this birdhouse is just cutting a straight line in here with this okay but on the lines probably about so deep Gerdeep deep says that deep then i'm gonna i got my cut saw bit here this is my favorite bit right here okay 
Forget about the Dremel bits when you want to get into wood carving. If you want to speed things up and make everything a lot easier, easier, it cuts all bits like this. This is my favorite one here. This is a quarter inch, sorry, one eighth. It goes in your Dremel. And um, the cuts all links listed below. If you want to buy a burr or two, um, use a code CFUSE and you save yourself 5%. Whew, okay, glad that part's over with. So first of all, the Chinese burr cut my straight lines. That If it was knife, car knife carving, it would be called, called stop and start cuts. Then I'm going to come with this and taper away the cuts. So each, each layer, so this is the bottom of a shingle, bottom, bottom. They're going to overhang. Anyways, I'm just going to, it will be sped up and I'm going to do a voiceover. Okay, so this is going to be sped up uh, pretty quick. All this video is at least twice the speed. Uh, I want to say to the very, very beginning people that have never carved with a Dremel before, this is something that you can do. It doesn't have to be a wood spirit. You know, you could carve flowers on your uh, your birdhouse. You can carve whatever you want to do. If you want to carve a whale on it, carve a whale. Carve trees on it. Carve whatever you want to do. Um, and another thing, too, if you don't think that you're capable of building the birdhouse just go on to facebook marketplace and then just go into your town group and saying looking for somebody to build you some birdhouses because there's lots of carpenters out there that can build these things in 10 10 15 minutes right so i do suggest that you carve the roof and the the roof part and the face separate then attach it later with uh any however you want to attach it glue brad nails or whatever <clears throat> so here you see me just shaping the roof it's good to uh, put some time into this. The nicer your roof is, the nicer the birdhouse looks. I didn't even used to put shingles in before. I just used to do cuts like this. and just That was good enough. Like the slot slits down it. You'll see. So just remember, if you're a very beginning Dremel carver, this is a very good project for you to do because you're not. it's not uh, really deep carving, right? It's just surface carving. So here's an orbit sander, and I'm just going to quickly clean up the cuts. It's better to do that before you put your uh, sh shingle slits in. Shingle slits. Yeah, that's right. Shingle cracks. Shingle separations. Um, okay. So here's uh, that uh, Chinese cutter again. So you see I'm just cutting in my shingle. Stagger them like bricks. They don't have to be straight up and down. You'll see here I do one really sideways. I did it on purpose. For all you, there's the crooked one. See it? For all you carving fusion haters. Yep, just to piss you off and just doing a little bit of an undercut there. So birdhouses, and it's it's good too because when you're carving the birdhouse, when you get it all done and you think it's good enough to go outside, well, put it outside. You never know if, don't put it outside. You never don't know if bird will uh, live in it or not. The ones that I've carved that are too nice, people actually don't put them inside, the, outside. They put them on their fire mantle inside or something. So my buddy, one of my best friends, one of my first ones I did, he, he put a screen over the hole so birds can't get in it, but he put it outside. Like, buddy, it's meant for birds to live in it, you know? Um, yeah, so here, usually I extend the beard around. I'm not doing it on that. Here's the, um, here is the glued nose. <laughs> it's ready to draw, carve. Just five minute epoxy I used. It's been like probably 15, 20 minutes. And I'm going to use my cut saw extreme flame burr right there. And, yeah, that burr is a multi-purpose burr. It's my favorite burr. I'm going to do the eyes first. First, I think I'm going to work the nose right down. And I think I'm going to carve the bridge of this nose really shallow, like closer to the face. So maybe get a little perch for the bird to sit on. Then, uh, usually I have the hole carved in for the mouth too, but I didn't. So I'm going to carve that in here. Uh, there's the eyes. Anybody can do in this. I'm telling you right now. There's the mouth. Okay, so, yeah, that's the part of the wood that I'm going to take off for the nose to get the bridge down to get the tip of the nose to stick off. I got bacon in my air fryer, and I just heard it beep, so it's ready. <clears throat> so here I am shaping the nose, bringing the bridge of the nose down. It's my first time uh, doing it this way. There's been some subscribers that do the noses this way. Actually, I forget who it was, but one sent me one, uh, Birdhouse. Great, very grateful for it, and it's in my carport, which he glued the nose on. And um, but there's no birds living in it yet. So just take your time when you're working on the nose, slowly shape it. There I am cutting the eyes in. 
This guy is not going to have eyes. Like I said, it's a very beginning wood spirit video for the birdhouse. How to carve a birdhouse. How to carve a wood spirit birdhouse. Then I'm just shaping. You see how I work on the same sides at the same time? I'll jump back and forth because you're trying to make them equal, right? If you're not going to do eyes, make sure when you use your burr to... Um, wood spirits don't need eyes. I'll say that. Use your burr and dig underneath the eyebrows. Just don't cut straight at, straight down underneath the eyebrows. Dig underneath the eyebrows. <clears throat> okay, so here I am draw, redrawing the mustache on. Center line on the nose so I can see what's happening. And there I am carving the mustache. So you think about it. This is three quarter inches thick. So you don't have that much depth. So it's it's a pretty quick quick carving. The, I carved this whole thing in about an hour today. But I'm telling you right now, excuse me, what I'm telling you right now, when I first started carving these birdhouses and Dremel carving, it would take me about a day to do it, to carve a whole one. Because you're still learning the tools. You're learning how the bits work. You're learning how the Dremel works. You're still learning everything. So don't think if it takes you a day to make a birdhouse that it's taken you a long time. Yeah, it might feel like it's a long time, but it's the, the more that you do, the faster and the better that you're going to get, just like anything else. So there I am cutting his nose down, giving that little bit of a bump. <clears throat> and you can see by the end of this carving, excuse me, by the end of this carving, you can't even really see that glue in there because I carve it so flush and push it down there. I'm carving the nostrils in. See that? I carve too close to the edge of the nostril. And it blew out. That's okay. You just do the other one to match. So if your nostril blows out and you got a big piece missing in there, just carve the other one to match. It's a wood spirit. The nostrils can be whatever you want them to be. We're not trying to make this look like a human face. I don't. Anyways, some of you might want to do, um, what's it called, realism. Well, me, I'm not really, when it comes to figures and animals, I'm not really too interested in it. I just like having fun carving that's what it's about so see i went underneath the eyebrow there see that still shaping the nose coming back trying to clean make things equal clean it up now taking away more of the forehead to make the eyebrows elevated Whew, that was a big word for me okay so now let's i think we're going to be carving in the mouth oh, hit those nostrils a bit more clean it up a bit more Yep, so draw mouth on. Like I said earlier, find um, the trees that are um, native to your land and make the whole size that size so foreign birds can't live in your birdhouse if you want. Be careful when you're digging your burr in to cut out a hole like this because this is when you can jam up your flex shaft. You can jam up your burr and your flex shaft could break in your Dremel or even your Fordham. So I'm rounding the backside. So the birds don't, here's some little stairs for the birds if they want to live in there for the babies when they're ready to peek outside and see the world that we got to live in. Yep. And they got a better bird's eye view of it. Don't they just carve Rob? So taking it down, now I'm going to carve in a bottom lip. So you see how close the mustache is to the beard? Your mustache doesn't need to be sticking that far off your beard, you know, because if you look at a, if you're going for realism, your mustache blends into your beard right, basically right when it hits your bottom of your lip. Just feathering it away, making that mustache stand out. Shout out to Studio on the Lake. Here I am quickly cut. I kind of gave him a little bit of a cheekbones. I could have done more. See, I just did one cut, then I rounded the face off a bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to quickly, quickly carve these beard, hair, these beard hairs in. Okay, just big lines and cross your lines and just go all over the place. Try and make, do it smooth, right? So everything's smooth. We're not talking about crossing it like X, but you know, like, see, anyways, maybe you'll see what I'm doing on this video. There's a bunch of different ways to do your beard hairs or hair hairs. This is the quickest way. And I just wanted to get this done. I've had this birdhouse at my house for two years wanting to get it done. 
and I'm feeling like a terrible piece of donkey crap right now. I don't know if I got the virus or what it is, but my body is just in shutdown. So I'm actually surprised that I carved this um, birdhouse today. Believe it or not, I'm gonna go to the uh, drugstore tomorrow morning and get a get a uh, COVID test you can get. So you'll see here, I gotta do the edges too, right? So you gotta carve down the edges. I should have cut it first and made it not square because it's there's still square from that edge. Yeah, so we'll see. But then after I carve this one, I think this is going to be Sunday's video. After I carved this one, I called I carved a little moose antler knuckle thing, an eagle. That took me about 10 minutes to carve, 10, 15 minutes. And I was filming. If I wasn't filming, I could, probably could have carved, carved it in five minutes. It's all right. It's just a gift for somebody. But it just lets people show, see how to carve bone and uh, what burrs. Because antler is basically the same as bone. You got cartilage in it. And uh, ivory too. So there's the flap sander. Just quickly cleaning it up. Get rid of some fuzzies. I'm doing this so I don't have to burn as much. Because when you burn, you lose detail. So, but like that was super quick carving because I've done 20,000 of them. That's why. So don't think that, like I said earlier, when you're, it's taking you a long time to do it, don't worry about it. You're doing, you're doing just fine, son. You're doing just fine. Keep at it. <clears throat> or daughter. Okay. Just rounding out the back so the birds don't get uh, cut or something or the feathers stuck. Here's this little butane burner that I got. Just burning inside the eyes. Don't burn too much. You're going to burn away your detail. Remember that. Just my opinion. Just give this a quick burning on the spots where I think it needs burning. Nostrils beside the nose there. The eyes beso beside the mustache. Inside the mustache. And just a little bit on the outside here to give it some extra little bit of textures not everywhere and then uh, flap sand it again and then you're pretty well good to go so here I am just burning some highlights for the roof this makes it look like it's it's overlapping more and here I am just giving it a quick flap sand flap sander turn your dremel down when you're using these uh, Sani mandrels because well they'll fry your dremel and um, that's about it pretty well 80 grit sandpaper on there here you go there's your bird bird house how to carve a bird house there's the face on it and that is the end of this voiceover thank you very much all right just carve rob all right oh yeah let's screw it on and don't forget to sign your pieces these birdhouses, when I first started wood carving, I, I made like 20 of them one year with the help from my friend Peter Blair. And um, he, he built the houses and well, I sold them all. And they're good. They're awesome sellers if you want to try doing one. And um, one other thing too. I forget what I was going to say. Hold on. You can put any type of finish you want on this. But I think if you want to make a birdhouse and put it in your yard or sell it, you know, if you put a clear coat on it, you might. The bird's night might not move in until a year later because the smell of the chemicals, right? So just kind of remember that. Carry on and uh, have fun. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy um, carving your wood spirit birdhouse. Carving Fusion. Over and out.